This week in West Berkshire, we've been responding to two storms, Eunice and Franklin. And you can see here, the clear up operation is still ongoing. I'd like to thank everybody who has been involved in that response. We had over 120 reports of trees down across the district and our highways team worked in close partnership with our contractors, Volker, to make sure that we responded quickly and appropriately to ensure that we kept main roads open. I know from the feedback that I've seen on social media that our residents really appreciated the response. But it wasn't only trees. We also had our waste service run near to normal on Friday despite the high winds. And I'd like to thank Veolia for doing that. We had 24,000 waste collections on Friday. A few were missed, however on Monday we went back and sorted that. So I'd like to thank the teams for making sure that they still got around the district. We saw schools closed and our education colleagues made sure that we kept that communication up so people knew if their children were in school or not. And we know that we were looking out for our uh, vulnerable within our communities. Our emergency planning team have pulled all of this together and I'd like to thank everybody who has been involved in that response. It will continue, we're still hearing reports of power outages and trees down across the district, but it is reassuring to know that the right people are responding in an appropriate, timely manner. At the start of the week, we heard from the Prime Minister about how we are all going to live with COVID for the future. It's an ideal opportunity for me to thank all of the residents who over the last two years have played an active part in protecting the communities of West Berkshire. We've pulled together and we've followed the guidance and regulations to this point. Going forward, we don't have to, by law, do these things, but we have to look at a personal accountability and responsibility. It means that we can still keep those most vulnerable within our communities safe. And I would ask everybody to consider that in their actions going forward. COVID still is here. We are going to have to learn to live with it. But by considering others, I believe that there are simple measures that we can all take. The most effective thing that anyone can do, and I would urge anyone who hasn't already done so, is to get vaccinated. We know there'll be additional vaccination campaigns coming over the coming months, and we will continue to promote those and encourage residents to be involved.